We got to do a little uh, co-parts complaining today, guys. I hope you're ready for it. This is a new one to me. Uh, this may have happened to you or somebody you know, but this is this is out of hand. So let's do a little walk around this car. Obviously, it's wrecked. You know, this is a salvage title rig. I knew what I was getting into. It wouldn't be the first time. Okay, big deal. So I'm going to do some pointing here. I just want you to look. You'll figure out the scam here pretty quick. Let's take a once over. Now, I haven't even unloaded this truck yet. It's still strapped down. Just got home from Coparts. Haven't even taken a leak yet. Guess we don't need that anymore. It's not like we're going to be able to return the son of a bitch. Anyway, let's take a look at the computer here. So if you can see, completely in plain view, we've got taillights. Look at that. Look at that little nifty attachment up there. Hmm, it's not there anymore. I know it didn't blow off on the way home. Now look at those. Completely missing. Hmm. wonder what happened to those. I wonder who took those off. Notice the shifter knob there. We'll go up here and we'll look on both sides. See, they're there on that side. Same thing on that side. Let's look under the hood here. Okay. There's a nice shot of an oil cap. Hmm. I can see that. There's a coolant reservoir cap. Now, what's funny, all this stuff magically disappeared right before it came to auction. Let me tell you the rest of the thing here. So I saw this car in mid-November when it first came in. And it was, it was in a row far adjacent to the other row that was being sold for that week. I saw it from 300 feet away and I decided to go and look at it. Because I thought it was pretty nifty looking. I inspected it and looked in it and around it and everything else. I thought, oh, that's not too bad. I'll watch it. I'll put it on my watch list. So I did just that. Put it on my watch list and waited for it. Well, it took almost two months, but it finally came up here last Friday. Or excuse me, on Monday. And ended up winning the car. I went and picked it up today. And what I got was something completely different. So here's what happened. Sometime between November, the guy, and last week, the previous owner, the guy came and took all of his parts off. Notice all those are there. Took all of his parts off, right? Now, I don't know who's to blame for this. Theoretically, the previous owner could have taken all of his parts off before it came to auction. But no, that's not what happened. It went, made it to Coparts, they took pictures of it, and they used those same pictures of that car when it came in. And that's not what it looks like now. So who's to blame? The previous owner or Coparts? Now, what Coparts should have done was not even taken those first pictures. Of course, maybe they didn't know that guy was planning to run a scam and come in and take all of his parts off. Well, okay, I can give him that. But if they did take those pictures, why didn't they take pictures of it after he took all of his stuff off and update them to the correct pictures before they sold it on the internet with that picture showing the taillights? Showing the top, showing the side skirts. Unbelievable. So I went and talked to the manager, finally came out. Very nice guy. There was no yelling and screaming and swinging arms or any of that. We had a nice talk. Let's look there. Hmm, shifter knob, gone. Oh, where's the manual at? I wonder what he's going to do with that. Why in the hell do people keep manuals out of cars that they don't own anymore? What in the hell is he going to do with it? He's going to learn how to fix a car that he doesn't have? Well, I can see he's in the car fixing business, obviously. He fixed it real good. Let me tell you the kicker on this. Locked doors. Somehow the doors magically got locked on this car. Funny thing is, this car came in and it did not have a battery in it. Okay, understandable. Big deal. So that means some jack wagon put power to this car and locked the son of a bitch and then disconnected the power source. Hmm. Hmm. 
You actually have to go to effort to be a a real prick these days, I guess, huh? So anyway, what do you guys think? Who's to blame on this? Coparts told me, well, the manager told me, this is what he told me. Now get this. They're just responsible to sell a title with a matching VIN. They do not count aftermarket parts. Well, okay. How far can you go down that road? We can go with, you know, an oil cap to a set of tail lights. Well, some of those are aftermarket, some of them aren't. He basically said the way it's sold is the way it's sold. Uh, and <laughs> that's that. Basically there to sell the VIN and the chassis with a title, clean, savage, yada, 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 so on and so forth. So that guy was no help, even though he was a decent guy. Am I mad at him? No. He probably wasn't even the one that uh, even knew about this, I imagine. Now he knows about it. So, what do I do with this car? Should I keep it? Should I try to fix it? Should I sell it like it is? What's the get down on this? Obviously, I can't take it back to Coparts, nor do I want to even deal with those guys. Unbelievable. Locked the damn doors, took the shifter knob. Now, I still got to get into this car, and when I get into it, who knows what else is missing. Maybe they locked the door on purpose. Hmm. Got me thinking now. Maybe I can fit my fat arm to this taillight and somehow unlock the tailgate. Hmm, probably not. Do I really want to get into there and pay a locksmith to get in there so I can find out what in the hell is wrong with it? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not today. Maybe next week when I cool down a little bit. But please watch this video. Uh, you know, it might be in your best interest to send this to your friend and at least show them what the get down over there at the Coparts is. Uh, hopefully you liked the video. Hey, look at the rims. They're not even scratched up. Imagine that. One thing they didn't get with the forklifts there. Oh, let's talk about those forklifts here real quick. So, you know, some of these guys, they'll have a real nice car like a Beamer. And they'll ram the bulkhead of the forks right into the front of the car. You know, and it might be a perfectly looking car. But they'll ram those forks right into a bumper of a car. And, uh, you know, scratch it up at the very least. Maybe even push it off of its uh, access, push the plugs out. But anyway, um... It just everything from the loaders, you know, and during COVID, they started this nonsense with the uh, virtual kiosk, the uh, inline kiosk. I think that's about the marking when Coparts all went to hell in a handbasket was when they started that virtual kiosk. I've asked them several times if they're ever going to go back to just walking in the door like regular days, but no, they like it the way it is. It gives them, it gives them leverage, I guess, to screw people royally the better way they can figure it out so anyway uh ever since they started doing that kiosk nonsense so then they've got the transportation app the transportation app is silly in itself i waited two hours to get this three thousand pound car on the back of my flatbed i thought about just going back there since the gate was open and taking it myself uh but no i never did that since since it didn't run you know so i'd have to work at it but anyway uh just beware what's going on out here you know i don't know if any other auction yards are doing stuff like this but i mean i can't directly blame coparts for doing this but this is something they definitely let slide it's not like they purposely tried to do it but i know for a fact that this kind of ordeal happens all the time with them unfortunately i don't think they were going to go out of their way for a few thousand dollar Volkswagen and make things right. Sure as hell weren't going to give me a, a credit or a refund. So anyways, guys, go ahead and watch the video. Share it with your friends. Like it. Subscribe. I appreciate it. Happy car hunting. Hopefully it turns out better than mine.